So this is for the EBRD uh, employee engagement course and it's the intermediate week now. So first video uh, in between week one and week two just to give you some sense of continuity with what we're doing. So I just want to, hi folks first of all to say everyone hope you're all well and had a lovely weekend. Uh, I want to talk about three areas which are usually applicable in any aspect of mindfulness. So they are the basic principle, the qualities and the training method. So I'm going to talk a bit about the whole area of taking in which I mentioned last week. So taking in is the direction it's the general intention it's your you could say your purpose for a period of time you just decide you're going to take in what's happening you're going to that's all you're going to do that's the principle that's the main area or, or direction now there are a number of qualities which are associated with taking in which uh, over time you can become aware of and even develop and pay attention to. So the first one is just being sensitive. Being sensitive to what's here. Feeling what's here. Uh, having uh, an openness to what's here. That's another quality. So sensitivity and openness. So the thing about sensitivity is that when you first start taking in what's going on, you notice the obvious. You know, you might have a, an itch somewhere, or you might be hot, or you might be a bit jumpy, or something like that. So you notice the obvious. And then you stay with the sense of sensitivity to what else is here. You're open to what else is here. And you start to notice other things that you perhaps a bit tight in one shoulder or your breath is a bit short or something like that. So the sensitivity is a general quality. Uh, you're just, it's something that you develop over time. In a way, it becomes a skill that you have. You can just be sensitive to what's going on. So out of this sensitivity or connected with this sensitivity is the quality of curiosity. What is here? So I've got the given, got the obvious, got the known. I know that, yeah, blah, blah, so what? But <laughs> underneath that is, well, what else is there? What else is going on? It's a sort of curious questioning, but not questioning in a, a, a very mental, uh, thought-based way. So it's just a sense of, so this is the given, what else is here? And this is a really an essential quality of mindfulness generally, uh, but also of this aspect of mindfulness, which is just taking in what's here. So you, you just, your mind gives you a, a snapshot. It says, oh, well, it's a lovely day. But what else is here? <laughs> so what else is happening? And you start, that curiosity starts to take in more and more of what is actually going on. Now part of the intention to be just present and open and sensitive is you need to settle the mind. The mind keeps wanting perhaps to jump away, go to other things randomly perhaps. So you have to keep checking that your mind is settling and check for whether you're restless or not and whether you've kind of jumped away. So whenever you've noticed that your mind is restless and jumped away or maybe that bit of where uh, the garden or the office will be uh, more comfortable, I'll go there. That's a sort of sign of restlessness, the sort of grass is greener on the other side as it were. So the mind is saying, oh, that'll be better. That'll be, I like, prefer that. You have to just let that go and just settle into where you are and take in where you are. So this very important 
function of mindfulness is checking for restlessness, but also combating it and countering it with this kind of very broad, rich contentment just to be here experiencing what's going on. So moving on, uh, there are a couple of little training methods to help with that general quality of being receptive and open and taking in. And that is something I mentioned in the first week, which is just take three minutes between each task, between each project, and just take in what's happening. Have you tightened up? Have you got wound up? Have you got tired? What's happened? Uh, and just taking it in and just sort of resting. Just taking three minutes between particular tasks. And it gets you used to this experience of taking in, being receptive, settling, being open. And uh, I think the, the other thing is just a more general uh, training method is when you are in between things. You could say, I'm in between things now. Just take in what's happening. Just absorb how I feel about things, what's going on. Take in your surroundings. So, three minutes in between, but then more generally, in a bigger sense, when you're in between things, uh, maybe projects or between work and home, just take in what's happening. So, uh, hope you have a good rest of the week.